wandering daughter, a pair of low-rent chiseling con artists, a ham-fisted gangster with a gat bigger than his brain, the Continental Op, they all get caught in flypaper. From hard-boiled master Dashiell Hammett, tonight on Fallen Angels. was a wandering daughter job. The Hamiltons were a wealthy and decently prominent New York family. Nothing in their history accounted for Sue. She had a kink that made her dislike the polished side of life and like the rough. Hey, Cecil. <laughs> Instead of the honorable Cecil Windown, who asked her to marry him, she wanted Babe McClure. A graduate of Leavenworth who kept himself in drinking money by playing with pedestrians in dark streets. The family had to give up on her, but they wanted at least to know what was doing in her life. So they put the Continental Detective Agency on retainer just to keep an eye on her. I was working out of the East Coast office some that year, 1927. She moved in with Babe on 10th Avenue, and he got her a job hostess in a joint on 23rd Street. And for a while, they gave our men no trouble. But Babe must have given somebody trouble because New York got too hot for them. For a year, we did nothing to earn our dough. Soon, Babe dropped completely out of sight. Then one day, we got a telegram in the Los Angeles office. By then, I was back on the coast. This came in from headquarters, New York. Major Hamilton today received telegram from daughter Sue in Los Angeles, quote, please, please, please wire me $1,000, care of apartment 306, number 601 Fountain Street, stop. I will come home if you will let me, unquote. Hamilton authorizes payment arrangements for a return. This is her. At least it was a couple of years ago. She's been in L.A. all this time? You can ask her.
Yes, Miss Hamilton. What about her? I'd like to see her. Is it, um, you're from her father? Yeah. Coming. Did you bring the money? I feel more like talking to Miss Hamilton. The thing is, if you brought the money, she'll come in here and she'll thank you. If you didn't, she doesn't want to see you. That's why I asked. I brought it. I'll bring her right here in a minute. I didn't see anything to show that a woman lived here, but that didn't have to mean anything. This is Sue Hamilton. You can identify yourself? Sure she can. Show them the papers. Your mouth may have shrunk, maybe, but how could your nose have gotten that much longer? If you don't like my nose, how do you like to go to hell? Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it. It's a swell nose. It's just not Sue's. Look for yourself. That a picture of Sue? Yeah. What a smart guy you are. Pipe down. Well, <laughs> you're in a hole. What could you make of it? Conspiracy to defraud. What a prince you are to get me in a jam like this. It was gonna be duck soup, yeah? Eggs in the coffee, yeah? Now look at you. You haven't got guts enough to tell this guy to go chase himself. Well, what are you waiting for? Waiting to be kissed goodbye? We don't owe you anything, do we? We didn't get your lousy money, did we? Outside, buster! Take the air! Dangle! Stop it, sister. You're gonna bust something. God's sake, Peggy, shut up and give someone else a chance. What do you want? I just got a hold of this stuff. A fella named Kenny gave it to me. Huh? Yeah, he told me about Sue Hamilton. She told me about her old man having plenty. Huh? I mean, I decided to take the wall. I never figured on this send the man stuff. I mean, from what Kenny told me, I knew Peggy here looked a lot like Sue. Sue's from New York. Who's gonna know her? Can he give you the old man's address? Sure he did. Did he give you Sue's? No. Where's Kenny now? He, uh, he's, I don't know. He had to go east. Didn't have time for this, so he threw it to me. Big hearted Kenny. Do you know Sue Hamilton? No. I don't like this, Kenny. Though without him, your story's got some good points. Can you tell it, leaving him out? That wouldn't be the way it happened. Well, that's too bad, because conspiracy to defraud doesn't mean as much to me as finding Sue. Suit yourself. I'll have to take you both to the precinct. This is a swell time to dummy up, pop off shut your lightweight, up. or I will. You're crazy if you think I'm going to take this fall with you. Shut hey, up! Make me shut up. You want me to make this hey, shut up? Hey, get shut up! Get off Just me! Shut up! Joe knows her. You got the stuff from her. She's at the St. Martin with Babe McClure. Shut up. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. Hop to it. You stupid twist. He was bluffing. Old man Hamilton doesn't want the newspaper space. All right. Roll it out. One of you. You got all of it, all right? I glommed that stuff last week when I was visiting Babe at the hotel. Me not wanting to let a promising layout go to waste. That the same, Martin? On Fairfax? Don't anybody go anywhere. Always keep your you mouth so shut. Smart. My goodness! <laughs> no Operator, get me 2221 State. Hi, it's me. Who's on duty there? McMahon? Uh huh. Send him over, yeah. Apartment 306 601 Fountain. Yeah, bye.
Come in. Made good time. Buggy's out front. He says he's Joe Wales, and she's supposed to be Peggy Carroll. We've got him cold on fraud, but we've got a deal. I'm going out to check it now. If they act up while I'm gone, there's no reason why you can't knock them around as much as you like. Go ahead. I'll keep an eye on Prince Albert here. He hit her a little too hard this time. Phone the police. All right. She'd been knocked around some and was bruised on the face and neck. But that didn't kill her. You think she was murdered? I found some of these tucked in a book. The Count of Monte Cristo. Arsenical flypaper. The Maybrick Sedden trick. Mashed in water. Four to six grains of arsenic can be soaked out of these sheets. Enough to kill two people. I worked on one of these in Louisville in 1916. Well know the situation, you'll certainly know how to handle it. Well, are you satisfied? How have they been? Turtle doves. She was there, wasn't she? Uh, yeah. You didn't come to tip off on me, did you? No. Well, what's the problem, then? What are you, what are you staring at me like that for? I knew damn well we weren't going to get out of it. What a smart guy you are. Take her into the bedroom and shut the door. Let's go, sister. I hope he busts your nose if you try to hold out on him. Your playmate seems to think you know something. Yeah, well, she's about as much use as a broken leg. Look, I came clean with you. What else do you want from me? Where you stumble, Joe was sending the telegram right after the murder. He's dead? Who dead? I don't know. Who do you mean? What do you think I meant? All uh, right, uh, old man Hamilton. You're right. I am? He's dead? How? Arsenic flypaper. Flypaper? <laughs> That's a laugh. That's a big laugh. Someone used some here on Sue. Sue? Yeah, murdered yesterday morning. Sue? Murdered? Both of them? The old man and Sue? Yeah. I am in a hole. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I gotta talk. Look, Sue was gonna ditch the babe. Me and Sue were gonna run away together. She was... Look. Dear Joe, I can't stand this much longer. Babe, beat me again tonight. Please, if you love me, come soon. Sue. You see, I had to make a play for the old man's grand. 
I had to find some dough somehow to get her out of there. Babe, suspect what you're up to. <laughs> I don't know. The guy's crazy. Jealous all the time, whether he's got reason to be or not. Well, uh, when did you... Thanks for the call. McMahon filled us in. Any word on Babe? We're still looking. What about the autopsy? Chronic arsenic poisoning. Chronic? That's where little by little, not all in a lump. Jordan found less than a grain in her, not enough to knock her off. He also found arsenic in the tips of her hair. Has to be a month old. You hold on to the girl? She's here. We're waiting for you, not knowing the angle on her. Let's have her in. I haven't had any dinner yet. You Joe Wales, girl. You want to call it that? You the jealous type. What does that have to do with anything? She was going to run off with Joe. That was his business. Yeah, it was a business with Sue wound up murdered. Murdered? I swear to God, I didn't know she was murdered. But you did know she was dead. I didn't. What are you giving us? You knew she was dead. No, I didn't. How can you kill her without knowing it? Make it easy on us. Come clean. No, I didn't know anything. It's you, sister. Cough it up. Maybe she didn't do it. The hell she did. I just said maybe she didn't. Then who did? Who did? Babe. How would you know that if you didn't know she was dead? Stands to reason. Maybe he found out they were going away together. How long did you know they were going away together? Since they decided. Joe told me a month ago. And you didn't mind? You got this all wrong. I was cut in on it. You know her father had the bees. She didn't mean anything to Joe but a way into the old man's pockets. Babe fixed a pair of them. That's a cinch. Yeah? How do you figure Babe killed her? With his hands, he asked me. You don't see him slow poisoning her spread out over a month? Not that way. Not Babe. Well, who would do it that way? You mean Joe? Joe might. God knows why, but you couldn't always guess what he was getting at. He pulled plenty of dumb ones. That would be his way to do it, though. Did he go over to Sue's place much? Oh, never. He was too leery of babe. Then how did he hide the flypaper he poisoned her with in the apartment? Flypaper? Show it to her. I didn't know what it was. Joe had some a couple of months ago, and I asked him what it was for, and he smiled, that Weisenheimer smile, and said, you make angels with it. You're the one who made the angels. Quit wasting our time. No, I didn't. I didn't know anything about that. Why would Joe kill his own meal ticket? Why has he stashed the paper in a place where he's never been? You killed her! No, no! You're no. a liar! All right. Throw her in a cell. Let her think it over. Precinct. Give her a pretty good ride at that for a short one. How long 
I've been looking for? 20 minutes. Stop the car! Get out! Come on! Get out! Come on, let's go! Let's go! Come on, move it! Get over there! Come on, you too, bud! Come on! Leave the keys! Come on, let's go, let's go! get to you, even with slugs in me. Not where I put them. If I can't pop your kneecaps from here, you're welcome to me. Hell with that. I didn't think you had enough sense to do it. We don't have much time, babe. Why'd you kill Joe Wales? You off the broad, I know. How do you figure that out? I didn't have to figure it, she told me. What do you mean she told you? She just told me, that's all. Sue, my old lady. She come down sick. Sicker than hell, she, she wouldn't let me go for a croaker. Even though I could see she was scared stiff. So, I just kept asking her what's wrong, what's the matter. She wouldn't tell me. <clears throat> then all of a sudden she starts whining, she's poisoned. Poison, babe, she's whining. Arsenic. That damn Joe. That's all she said. Then later on, she just kicks. That's it. Do I know you? What do you make of it? Suicide? I know. I don't like it either. But that flypaper was hidden behind the kitchen stove. Nobody would try to hide something from a woman in her own kitchen. But the woman might hide it there. True. If Sue had the flypaper, she got it from Joe. Maybe they were scared to leave Babe alive, so they meant to use it on him when Sue left. When I started talking to Holy Joe about murder, he thought I was talking about Babe. He was surprised it was Sue who was dead. But he was even more surprised when he saw Babe alive. What about Sue? She died cursing Joe. She knew she was poisoned, but she didn't want to see a doctor. Maybe she figured out that Babe didn't care about her, and suicide was the only way out. Now, I can't figure Babe as a poisoner. He's too rough. What about the month-old arsenic in her hair? Hmm? I don't know. Go around in circles here. Maybe I ought to run through that Monte Cristo book. I did. 
last night. And? Suppose you were to take a milligram of this poison the first day, two milligrams the second day, and so on. Well, at the end of 10 days, you would have taken a centigram. At the end of 20 days, increasing another milligram a day, you would have taken 300 centigrams. That is to say, a dose you would support without inconvenience and which would be very dangerous for any other person who would not have taken the same precautions as yourself. Well, then, at the end of the month, when drinking water from the same carafe, you would kill the person who had drunk the water without your proceeding otherwise than from a slight inconvenience that there was any poisonous substance mingled with the water. That's it. That was Joe's idea. They were afraid to go away with Babe alive, so that's how they were going to do it and stay safe. Because Babe was watching her too closely. She was afraid to poison him in something she couldn't eat herself. Right. But she got something wrong, or else that book is wrong. It is. There are people who can cultivate the ability to take arsenic, but it seems to be a natural gift, a constitutional peculiarity. For most people, it wouldn't work. They do what Sue Hamilton did. Slowly poison themselves until they died. Well, you see, you were right. It was suicide. Although she didn't know it. Oh, the police are going to be disappointed they can't get Babe. For Sue and Holy Joe. They can only hang it once. <laughs>